Hey guys, I'm back. It's Yusuf from Luxury Report. So, the BMW X3 gets a lot of flack. It's a lot of flack because A, it's been around with us for about 20 years, and B, kind of helped jumpstart this whole luxury crossover revolution we're all in. But, you think about it, the X3 has also paid for a lot of exciting projects. Your M3, your M5, your i8, your M8, anything source of an M, chances are, this X3 is paid for. Alright, I'm not your average motoring journalist. Most journalists tend to lambast crossovers for one reason or another. It's a herd mentality that I never really understood. Because to me, a crossover just works. Take this X3 for instance. It's one of the best examples of a luxury crossover on the market today because it just works. And that's what the average consumer is looking for. If you're looking for looks, then this X3 delivers as well. It has strong BMW DNA embedded into its design language, but it's modern as well. The prominent yet subtle kidney grill works. The LED headlights and taillights and overall stance of the X3 makes it stand out in a sea of bar soap-like design crossovers. The interior is just a magical place to be. Yeah, as I said magical, because with its gesture controls, full ambient lighting, and brilliant infotainment system, the X3 is just, well, magical. The front seats are just a magical place to be as well. It's comfortable, supportive, the leather looks great in this mocha brown color. So bravo BMW for making a pair of front seats that are comfortable and supportive. Now the only real issue I have with the interior is the rear door openings tend to be a little narrow, so trying to fit a child seat in can be a little cumbersome. But other than that, rear legroom is okay. Could it be bigger? Yeah. Is it sufficient? Yeah, it works. The leather is still nice, interior appointments still look great, and you have a large panoramic sunroof as well. On the utility front, the cargo area is about 62 cubic feet and it's pretty well sized. I mean, you can fit a full size me back there with no issue. So, powering our particular tester is your industry mandated 2 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder. And this guy is making 248 horsepower and 258 foot pounds of torque. It's mated to the glorious ZF 8 speed automatic, which is quick shifting, smooth quiet, just overall a tremendous transmission. And from there, power is wrapped to all four wheels via the X-Drive system, which pretty much means all-wheel drive. Alright, here's some quick annoyances on the 2019 BMW X3. There is a throttle lag that shows up randomly when taking left or right-hand turns. Lasts about two and a half seconds, and it can be absolutely terrifying merging onto traffic. A Probably a simple software fix will remedy the issue. Hopefully it can happen sometime soon. Other than that, the X3 does not offer ventilated seats, which can be annoying on those hot summer days. To get those sweet seats, you have to jump up to the X5. Alright, so overall, the 2019 BMW X3, it looks good, it drives great, it's comfortable, it's quiet, it performs really well. And there's honestly an X3 for everybody. There's a plug-in hybrid, there's this 2-liter lease special, and a high performance X3M and the sweet spot for me is the M40i so if you're looking for a luxury mid-size crossover look at the X3. This is Yusuf signing off. Talk to you guys soon.